Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. And now the game begins. So, are we actually playing virtual mission now? We're actually playing the virtuous mission now. <laughs> oh, right. sorry. So, any what was that question you had? Um, if you can remember. Remind me about uh, what's his what's his name? Um, Solidus. S uh, Solidus Snake. Solidus is uh, the third clone of Big Boss. He was after. Liquid and... It, it was cloned at the same time, I think. Right. Not important, really, here. Yeah, not important. Uh, Any questions about that, what just happened? No, I, I've, no. I found that quite thorough. Yeah. Very long. As they tend to be, but that's <laughs> it. That's the that's the intro over. Is that this game the bulk now. of the... Yeah. We'll get a couple of yeah. stop-start moments, but... It's Metal Gear. I it's Metal Gear, we're used yeah. to it by now. I, I know which ones to ignore. Yeah. And, like, some of them you can't ignore, but... Either way... I have to say, graphically, best one I've seen yet so far. Yeah. Like this is the view you originally got. It's fixed camera, but you could move yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's weird. I couldn't imagine. But you still got the first person as well. Yeah. It it just added a little bit more in terms of uh, like your actual survivability. Well, I think you like, have to be more careful because you can't yeah. just look around. But I'm not gonna lie, this view's a lot better. Yeah. Sorry, what I meant to say was. The third person camera adds a lot to the survivability, yeah. like how easy it is to survive. Watch out for them crocs. Oh, Freddo. Shit. There was a croc there. <laughs> that was not a nice Freddo. No, it was not. So I'm going to just be scooping stuff up. Um, but yeah, mission. We've got to focus on that mission. Nice detail. Oh, the mud. muddy boots. Oh yeah, I I creamed right over up, that right up to where you stood. As Back well. in like two thousand three or whenever this came out, two thousand four. Uh, yeah, I creamed my boots when I saw oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> was it brown cream? Really? It was brown cream. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We know. Can't let the Kremlin find out mm -hmm. the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face mm -hmm. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? This is a sneaking mission. Stop interrupting me every five minutes to tell me this is a sneaking mission. 
Uh, I'm, I'm glad Snake's mum's on the, uh, on, on, the, the on the mission to tell him how to change his clothes as well. <laughs> Mummy's boy. Make sure to change your combat uniform every day. Don't forget to put your fresh face on. But in fairness, we will take her advice. Yeah. Because we're, we're a little forty-five though. We're a little bit exposed out here in the jungle. This is what um, we got from selecting we like Metal Gear 3 it's just a couple of extra oh, right, okay. back, uh, camouflages these ones actually add little uh, buffs like that one gives you quicker health regen that one oh, gives right. you infinite batteries and stuff like that but they're also pretty cool so it's funny that like you know they couldn't have sent him with any extra gear but he's got a full wardrobe on him oh yeah <laughs> he's fitting that all in that tiny little backpack there is Snake a lady oh yeah <laughs> He's got like a bottom, I mean, bottomless back, a handbag. I mean, look at them locks, like, he's got to be one. Oh, trophy. Right, we've got a boy over there. But I thought this was a sneaking mission. Well, yeah, but we got to sneak past the boys. Alright, I thought you were just going to straight up take him out. That's what I would have done. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, we're, we're not, uh, we're not in the middle of the ocean anymore. I'm trying to remember how to do something. What are you trying to do? Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh. Bring him up here. I, I, I'm trying to remember how to snipe with the the scope. Oh. <laughs> but. Nah. Fuck him. He can live. Yes, he can. Let's get that bug juice. So what does bug juice do, or is that, or is that just nourishment? It's like uh, re uh, bug repellent. Alright. Sort of thing. Keeps bees and leeches off you. There's lots of trees to climb around here, but I don't know what the point is. No. Uh, Maybe it's to hide, but... Eh. Yeah, it will be. I'm just sort of bombing through this. Oh. I'm amazed he's still not in here. Oh no, he oh, has. <laughs> Beautiful start. Is that gun working? Yep. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Tom, I think you've given me a dud. <laughs> that took a while. It did. You can see me. How can they see me? Oh. Well, this has gone beautifully. Surely you can do better. <laughs> it's because I'm too busy explaining yeah. shit and not thinking to about it. To be fair, when's doing. the last time you properly sat down to play this? Uh, yeah. I think we can let this one slide. In fact, this is no worse than when we were playing two. No. Like, on my first go, so. Although, this isn't your first go, but you know what I mean. I did, yeah, I did kind of want to do this full stealth, but fuck it. Just do it full stealth from now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, retry, retry. <laughs> I just got turned around when I go prone. Is he gone? Oh, he's there. I see him. Are you taking him out or are you letting him go by? I'm evading. No, I'm taking him out. Hmm. Will that uh, work? He's got, yeah, he's got two darts in him. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> But now people are still going to come after him, aren't they? Yep. Good opportunity to run. Oh yeah. We are out of here. I think everyone's <laughs> falling asleep. Yep, everybody's asleep. Excellent right. start. Commencing virtuous mission.
Elkily Dokily. Right after that amazing start, let's just take it down a notch. What was that noise? Just shot the beehive. And the beehive dropped loot. And. <laughs> Why the. The beehive's just scared all of the <laughs> I enemies. Love that. I was just doing a crouching train. This is the roadie run. <laughs> yep. They've just. Uh, the bees just scared the entire enemy force out of this area. Well, that was a lot easier than, like, trying to, like, I don't know, swing off this thing. Yeah. Right, can we get this fucking jump? Yeah, we Oof. can. This is like those videos you see of people jumping off buildings. Yeah. Like, at insane heights. And for some reason, we just found an American assault rifle in Russia. What's that doing here? Like, not only that, it's an experimental American weapon. Should we be worried? Nah, it'll be right. I, I, I did always wonder why the why the hell there is an M16 yeah. in this game. Maybe one like chipped out the side of the mountain in a crate, hence why it's a square in the in the wall. Like, Possibly. <laughs> something hit it. So have all the enemies already cleared out from here then? Yep, they all ran away. They do eventually come back, that's why we need to be quick. Right. But in the next place... Tiger, Tiger Stripes, just a good all round. Yeah. Like your basic camo. <coughs> Rasped. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Should be easy enough. Sounds simple. Will it be simple though? You know what's really weird? What? Playing a game where if you look at enemies with binoculars, they don't get a big orange marker over the red. <laughs> yeah. Because even Metal Gear 5 does that now. Does the spotting thing. Does the Far Cry exact thing. But realistically, that would, like, never happen. Like... No. If you spot an enemy, you got to fucking remember where they're going. Yep. You can't just intuitively keep track of them. Conveniently. Yeah. In your fucking eyeball hood. <laughs> There's one thing in this game that I didn't know about until... The HD collection came out. What's this? If you use the directional pad, sn Snake actually sneaks. So, like, walking behind an enemy does nothing. They'll still hear you. Right. But if you use the directional pad, he'll actually sneak. That's what that little slow walk is. Yeah, right. I love how he's just actually looking at us and he can't see us. It's like, yeah. Th yo. <laughs> already I could see a bit of bullshit that's going to happen in this game, but... It's just down to numbers. Yeah, you, you, you got to remember they've still got the like Metal Gear cone of vision. You just can't see it. Cause yeah. There's no radar. We get other things though instead of radar. Motion detector, for instance. 
could be quite useful. I think the radar that we had was more useful for buildings anyway. Like yeah, out here it'd be a bit, a bit worse. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. No. It's good. It's good. We're good. Are we good? We're good. Don't worry. <laughs> Not though. Swift punch. It's like, stop that. Like to do the roll. <laughs> it won't move. The limber up roll. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, it wasn't moving. What are they shooting at? <laughs> Me, apparently. They tend to do that. Um, Shoot near your last known location. Yeah, sort of suppressing. Are we having snake dinner? May as well. We're a bit low on the old stamina meter. Oh, so that's that's nice. They did give us a calorie, mate. Taste unknown. They taste fucking delicious. It looks nice, but at the same time, it kind of kind of looks like a like a box of washing up liquid, like <laughs> detergent. That is snaky. Snake viewer. Right, we're good. So once this goes off, we should be able to. Yeah, just sneak in. There. Sneak in. Bounce in. Get the scientist and bounce out. It's simple. Ah, uh, yeah. This is a sneaking mission. <laughs> he should have told us a third time, because then I w it would have stuck. Yeah. D did we forget? Yeah, I forgot. Oh. It's all right. To be honest, I always fuck up at this beginning bit. To be fair, I'm f fairly sure I spent like a good half an hour on this area once when I tried it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know what it is. It's something about the, the enemy placement in this. I can never remember it. Remember exactly where they are. Yeah. Every other every other part of this game, I can remember where the enemies are, are like tend to be. Yeah. This bit, it always gets me. Like as soon as I get inside the factory, I'm like, what? Where are they all? Was that the first actual working headshot then, as well? Yep. <laughs> oh shit! What's that going? Oh shit! 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 You saw nothing. <laughs> Come off it. <laughs> you saw nothing. He did see that, but I just think he's choosing to ignore it. He's. <laughs> How do I... There we go. <laughs> I scared the shit out of the scientist. But that worked. Right, where are our boys hiding? Anyway. Alright, there's not going to be one more dude chilling up here having a there's one. shufty sleep, is there? <laughs> one in there. I didn't see him from there. Sometimes this view can help. One down there. Mm -hmm. right, we should be okay to drop down into this room. You say that. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, good. Excellent. Men, you'll never get it from me. No, I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah, I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. Did he now? 
What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come, I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
freeze! <gasps> So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> Another one. You would 
ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you, huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you.